What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I've got a little bit of a different fishing tip for you guys today, and this is how you can help sea turtles that are in need. As fishermen, we are out on the water and we do care for the resource a lot. And when turtles are suffering from a natural disaster or maybe they've been involved in a boating accident, it is really important to know how you can help them out. And for the past week, I've been down in South Padre Island as a result of the freeze that just came through Texas. And there were a lot of turtles there that were in need because they were suffering of hypothermia. Now, I did manage to get out with Captain Nathan Folks of South Texas. Texas Fishing Adventures and help a lot of these turtles out. I'm gonna show you guys some of the footage here soon, but I'm gonna let Captain Nathan tell you guys exactly what you can do to help these turtles out. Okay, so uh, turtles, basically the, the number you wanna look at is 50 degrees. So when the water temperature gets below 50 degrees, uh, the turtles start getting hypothermic. Okay, so they'll they immediately kind of start coming to the surface uh, and then eventually they just can't hold their heads up above the water anymore and a lot of them will drown. Uh, so the best way to help them is go to an area like the ship channel. Uh, most of those turtles, when the water starts getting colder, they're gonna start going to the deeper water. Uh, and that's where they're gonna, you know, that's where they're gonna have, where you're gonna get the biggest effect on helping tur turtles here, at least, is going to places like the ship channel and stuff. Uh, use the wind, you know, decide. We had a 30 mile an hour north wind for probably four days. So it, it blew a lot of turtles on the south bank of our ship channel. Uh, so when you go out there to help them, uh, you know, we take binos or whatever, try to find the turtles. Uh, what we did specifically is we kept one person in the boat and two people went on the, the bank. My son was with us and walked the bank and, and I just stayed with him with the boat. Uh, so when you find the turtle, uh, a lot of times when you look at them, you might think that they've already passed. Uh, but if you'll rub your hand on the, like the back of their net uh, or down the side of their face, uh, they'll kind of pick their head up and you'll know immediately, okay, this turtle needs help. Um, if they don't move when you rub them on the head, if you rub your fingers down by their eyes, they will either open their eyes or close their eyes. Uh, so when you find that the turtle's there, he's alive, he needs help. When you go to move him, the best way to pick him up is, is either, is right behind his head with the shell and at the very back. Uh, and then if they're small enough, you can just pick them up by the side of the shell. Uh, if you get a really large turtle that one person can't actually save, we didn't, you know, sadly didn't actually find any big ones that were, weren't already passed. Uh, two people can get that thing to the boat by, by grabbing him by his fin, don't pick him up but just get him in the water and you can pull him out to the boat and then do whatever you have to do to try to get him in the boat. It won't hurt them to pull them in the water by their fins, but don't pick them up by their fins. Um, and again, you know, uh, it's okay to help turtles, right? Just don't hurt them. So, you know, if you're going out there because you want a photo op, then it's probably not a good deal, but you, you, it's always okay to help the turtles when, when they're in need. Uh, here at the convention center, they had 5,000 turtles. They started releasing them yesterday. Mm -hmm. we, we actually saw them carrying them out to a big boat where they were taking them out and releasing them. Um, I believe it was actually the largest recorded turtle rescue in history. I think the numbers I saw from uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and that's the thing is the legality of this completely resides around if the turtles are in an emergency situation. In this case, it was a really bad freeze. The game wardens were going out grabbing turtles. They asked the community of South Padre and Rio Grande Valley to assist in this. And just know that you can contact your local rescue shelter if you're not sure whether you should be helping a turtle that you do believe is hypothermic or is an emergency situation right. we're gonna talk about here in a second. And they can give you the best advice. Obviously, don't just go out and grab turtles on a regular sunny day. And, and usually healthy turtles will swim away from you if there's something wrong with them you usually will know that something's wrong when you come up on a mature turtle and it's not moving. Um, but in terms of emergency situations with boats, which is a little bit more common, you might experience, you know, regardless of where you are, I think Captain Nathan has a little bit more information on that one as well. Right. The, the big thing with a, with, on a normal basis when you come up on a turtle is if he swims away from you and he can go underwater, he, he's going to be okay, right? Uh, there's no reason to mess with him. Uh, but if you come up on a turtle and he cannot go underwater or he doesn't swim away from you, or you can physically see that this thing has been hit by a boat, uh, then it is definitely okay to help the turtle. Uh, normally what I do is I'll call the turtle rescue place immediately and tell them where I'm at, that I have a turtle that needs to be rescued. And 
and they'll let you know whether to bring them to them or whether they'll send somebody out. Uh, the turtle rescue here doesn't actually have a boat. They don't have a boat ramp. Uh, so most of the time they're going to tell you, hey, get the turtle and you can bring it somewhere close to them. Uh, here on South Padre Island, there's lots of restaurants and stuff that has docks. So you can bring that turtle to the dock and they'll meet you there. I've actually brought them to my dock and they will drive over here and get them. Uh, but the big thing is uh, treat them right. Uh, like I said before, make sure you pick them up by their shells. If they have, I've rescued one that had a huge rip down his shell. So, you know, if you got one like that and you pick him up on both sides, you might collapse his shell in his lung. So on that particular case, you want to slide your hands under them and, and support them properly. Uh, and again, you know, if, if they're in need, uh, call somebody, make sure you're doing the right thing. Uh, and, and try to rescue that turtle. Uh, sometimes if they're really large, you have to, you need to get to shallower water, right? Uh, so that you can pick him up without, without hurting him. Get him in your boat close to shallow water and then pick him up, slide him on your boat any means possible. I've had some that were, you know, I had to shoulder him up on the boat or whatever, but just try to, try to be calm with them. Be careful when you get them in your boat, make sure you situate them in the boat where they're not sliding around or you're not beating them over wakes or whatever. And the same if you put them in your vehicle. Uh, the ones we rescued the other day, we threw them in the back of my truck. Uh, so you wanna make sure that somehow they're in the back of your truck so you're not beating them against the side or the front and the same thing with your boat. So the, it, you don't wanna do more damage than they already have. Absolutely. Yeah, so just to recap guys, when you find these turtles, make sure that they are actually in a distress situation. If it's a cold stun, best thing you can do, give them a little rub on the back of their neck. Check if they are still alive. Unfortunately, we did come across a lot of turtles that were expired. Mm -hmm. So it was really important for us to go up and manually check each turtle just by rubbing them on the back of their neck. We did find a lot of ones that we were able to save in boating accidents. Similar situation, just check on the well-being of the turtle. Make sure that you know your local turtle rescues number. If you're watching this video right now, highly recommend you just go give a quick Google search. Save it in your phone because you never know when you're going to need it. And uh, just make sure that you are taking the proper steps when you do have that turtle on your vessel or in your vehicle during transportation to where it's not bouncing around. And uh, just obviously look over the overall well-being of the turtle. So hopefully this video has helped you guys know what you can do to assist these awesome creatures in emergency situations. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to become a better fisherman or just anything about being on the water, having a good time, highly recommend you join us at saltstrong.com. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.